Are you are you prepared to read something? Come on, yeah. All right, come on up. Yeah. This is our open mic time, and we've all been reading, and we we need some fresh blood. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell I'll tell you after we got lots of drinks and stuff. So. Okay, everybody. So please welcome Darlene to the stage. Uh, and and before she starts, let me tell all our readers and guests we have a little hospitality area over here. In the blue cooler, there are fresh apples and carrots. In the big cooler, there are drinks, water, and uh, some soda water drinks. And on the table, there's some coffee, nuts, dried food, and uh, help yourself. Okay? Please welcome Darlene. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, I don't touch these bikes anymore. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Um... So off the top of my head, all I can think of right now is a poem called, some poem I wrote when I was really stoned. Um, <laughs> Run far away from the piercing eyes that see your hidden instincts. Rain pours down your cheeks and I want to stop you. I want to hold you. But clouds dissipate in my embrace. The fog is much too thick to hold. It's slipping through my fingertips. And where did you go? A phantom lost in plain sight. Stars that I can't see, though they radiate the night. Hopeless you are. Heart plucking at my heartstrings. Harping the kindest harmonies, the bow will break fragments lifted soaring in the breeze radiating the sound waves the airwaves of our souls until the tattered winds of hurricanes quake us to the bones behind every frayed shattered heart is a part that is yearning to be oh i skipped a whole bunch oh well <laughs> to be saved to be redeemed i want to reach my hands into the universe and tear down the stars that salvaged us before but i can't feel you anymore thanks thank you darlene so will you be coming back with some more later? Very cool. Yeah, you can get a little prepared. Uh, so like I said, we have treats. If you want something, everybody grab something, whatever you like. So we have uh, Josh, are you leaving? Okay, bye. <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah, where's your pass, dude? <laughs> where's your pass? Okay, so... Uh, what we're going to do is up next, we're going to have Andrew's going to do a poem for us, and then we're going to have Larry, our videographer, come up and do one. So, Andrew, you are up. Please welcome Andrew Gonzalez. Hello again, everybody. Yep. yep. All right. Why you must be born again all over, though you may be an old man or an old woman. When I was in high school, I thought that I had been born again. And my uncle told me while I was preaching that he thought a man could be born again many times. And now that I am older, I think perhaps as an automatic line of poetry that held a prophecy for me, for now, in the middle of my twenties, I consider that possibly the potential that a man may be born again many times is, in fact, my only hope. I went to a poetry reading where, in a line of poetry, a woman said, quoting the words of a homeless vagabond she encountered on the streets, This is how I believe. And I reflected indeed that to attach belief to a belief and live in that belief, for that belief, speaking on its behalf like a servant for an idea, 
is a blasphemy unworthy that eventually will provoke grief when good reasons for doubting certain things bangs a foreboding knock at the door of reasonability and the threat of treason echoes by and by in the corridors of your mind that you will die and perhaps you will die believing the wrong things i.e. if there is a hell for such an inadvertent crime that would suck but if this truly mattered to a deity how cruel because the space of time is too short it is overly short to be sure of anything which stretches that far beyond the scope oh it may come from the deep but it must be there before you come, waiting for you to discover it underneath an unexpected rock of human experience. There be God, and there be love, but not in any book or sonnet. Remember that, remember that, and look again. No, this is how I believe, this is not what I believe or why I believe but in the womb of the universe I am born continually because all coming and going is ultimately illusion and therefore you and I always exist clouds evaporating to embrace the circumference persist in the atmosphere still being there just spread out larger and unseen to the naked eye you might say like a circle which appears to be moving in a circle but is but a circle still there whether held by the chains of dogma or not the gifts of this circle life can be sold as a mixed bag of goods in a church synagogue or temple but the gifts must be set free into the mixed up sinner saints hands God and love like dogs collared and tightly leashed to the hip of a minister or a holy book. To live is an act of firm belief. There is no reason not to press the careless knife into your neck. Oh, reasons may be given, but there is no ultimate reason to go on. You just do. And let it not be out of habit so you may always be arriving where you're at seeing new things and therefore believing new things a sign of life the impulse of which pulses verily with fertility and virility finding god and love again inside each other and us inside of he and her true to this truth i stand aloof with the nations in my testicles Therefore, when the barrier between me and everything else begins to break down in the all-corroding glory of day-to-day -day mundane precious moments passing through my fingertips, I know I am the ground beneath my feet and that every creature's suffering is my own. I am too small to feel or understand or care for or to properly, though I would save myself to save you, though I know not at all times what to believe. I only know I grow in all which is a part of enigma, the experience of birth is an experience of suffering therefore babies cry and yet this thing keeps the babies alive a light a name would only be an idol to represent so in the cave the casted shadows dance against reality consciousness sees the belief to provide form to the void in our eyes we see a spectacle of our own making, every person a pious artist. Time is too short. We must be born again each moment for the here and now. If we hope 
to feel alive when we finally change and some part of us goes out into the grave and some part of us goes. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Andrew. Uh, let's give Andrew Gonzalez another hand. Okay, so uh, before I bring up our next poet, I'm going to make some, uh, some necessary announcements. Uh, we want to thank some of our sponsors who have made the poetry stage possible this year. Uh, Killer Burger, Barnes & Noble, Hot Mama's Wings, Mezzaluna, Lane Forest Products, and Full City Coffee. The, a lot of them have... Uh, donated raffle prizes to our donation raffle. So uh, if you haven't heard about it, I'm going to tell you right now. Please check out our donation raffle right over here. Any donation will get you entered for great prizes and you'll be helping a wonderful local cause, the OSLP Arts and Culture Program. Uh, they bring arts and culture to disabled people in our communities. They do a very wonderful thing and uh, you could be helping them out. Uh, we will have multiple drawings at the end of each day. You do not need to be present to win. Just fill out the form completely. And uh, the prize list is right over there. There's some great prizes, and you can win several prizes in each drawing. So help out a wonderful local cause.